sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise the dead to life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who raised up the bishop, St. Athanasius, as an outstanding champion of your Son's divinity, mercifully grant that rejoicing in his teaching and his protection, we may never cease to grow in knowledge and love of you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Those who had been scattered by the persecution that arose because of Stephen went as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus, and Antioch, preaching the word to no one but Jews. There were some Cypriots and Syrians among them, however, who came to Antioch and began to speak to the Greeks as well, proclaiming the Lord Jesus. The hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number who believed turned to the Lord. The news about them reached the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to go to Antioch. When they arrived and saw the grace of God, he rejoiced and encouraged them all to remain faithful to the Lord in firmness of heart, for he was a good man, filled with the Holy Spirit and faith. And a large number of people was added to the Lord. Then he went to Tarsus to look for Saul, and when he found him, he brought him to Antioch. For a whole year they met at the church and taught a large number of people. And it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial song. All you nations, praise the Lord. All you nations, praise the Lord. His foundation upon the holy mountains, the Lord loves, the gates of Zion more than any dwelling of Jacob. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. All you nations praise the Lord. I tell you of Egypt and Babylon, among those who know the Lord, of Philistia, Tyre, Ethiopia, 
This man was born there, and of Zion they shall say, One and all were born in her, and he who has established her is the Most High Lord. All you nations just praise the Lord. They shall note when the peoples are enrolled, this man was born there, and all shall sing in their fest of dance. My home is within you. All you nations just praise the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The Feast of Dedication was taking place in Jerusalem. It was winter. And Jesus walked about in the temple area on the portico of Solomon. So the Jews gathered around him and said to him, How long are you going to keep us in suspense? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered them, I told you, and you do not believe. The work I do in my Father's name, in my Father's name testify to me. But you do not believe, because you are not among my sheep. My sheep hear my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. No one can take them out of my hand. My Father, who has given them to me, is greater than all, and no one can take them out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we celebrate the Feast of Athanasius, a great defender of the faith, and one who really proclaimed the divinity of Christ. As we go back to the fourth century when he lived, there was a man named Annas, and he was teaching that God created Jesus. And as Athanasius came on board, he said that Jesus was not created by God, he he was begotten. He was the begotten Son of God. And as we know, as we pray the Creed, the Nicene Creed, over and over again, we hear those same words. In the Gospel today, Jesus is really teaching the Jewish people about who he is, the Son of God. And he's doing so by telling them that the Father and I are one. I've told you this. You've seen my works. They testify to who I am and these people still do not believe. I think if we had run around uh, the world today in our community, we would find the same thing. People still don't believe really who Jesus is. They may have heard of him, they may have read of him, they may have seen pictures of him, but they don't believe that he is truly the Son of God. Let us pray today that our faith may be enriched by the Trinity, that we may profess the Father, the Son, and the Spirit as one God in three persons and live out that teaching that St. Athanasius so fiercely defended in the early years of the church. Let us pray. For Francis, our Pope, and Daniel, our Bishop, may they continue to be filled with the Holy Spirit and grow in the heart of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all nations, may they be united and one as the Father, Son, and Spirit are one. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who struggle to follow the voice of Jesus, may the Spirit open their ears and hearts to its truth, beauty, and goodness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for all in our faith community who receive the sacraments of initiation this Easter season. May the Lord help them remain faithful to him with firmness of heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the souls of the faithful departed, may they, through the mercy of God, rest in eternal peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of all goodness, look with kindness upon the prayers we offer to you this day. Grant them according to your holy will, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all the Holy Church. Look, O Lord, upon the offerings we present to you in commemoration of St. Athanasius, and may witnessing to your truth bring salvation to those who profess as he did an unblemished faith through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and your spirit lift up your hearts lift them up to the lord. let us give thanks to the lord our god it is, right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Athanasius you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Son in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Daniel, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. I will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. For only you say the word, and my soul shall be healed. No one can lay a foundation other than the one that is there, namely Jesus Christ. Alleluia. Amen. 
At this time, we invite you to join in a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already here and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, Almighty God, that the true divinity of your only begotten Son, which we firmly profess with Saint Athanasius, may through this sacrament ever give us life and protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.